today I'm gonna be breaking down I'm in Godzi's number counter effect. Well, at least the one he uses in this thumbnail. So this is an effect that's been around for a very long time. We're gonna jump into Da Vinci right now and I'm gonna show you exactly how to create it. The first thing that you're gonna want is to grab a fusion composition. I'm not really sure why they're coming out so small right now, but we're going to zoom in and we are just going to jump into the fusion page. All right, so now once we're in the fusion page, really all we're gonna need is two things. We're gonna need a background node and we're going to connect that to media out, bring the alpha value all the way down and then we're gonna also need a text node. And this is gonna be a super simple, super straightforward tutorial. So the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is connect your text node to your background, get a merge on in between there. Now what we're gonna do is we're probably gonna introduce a feature to you that you didn't know existed in DaVinci. DaVinci is super customizable and what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click on this text node and we're gonna pop on down here to where it says edit controls. So we're gonna actually create a new control. All these right here are controls in the text node. We're gonna create a new control. So I'm just gonna type in something like number counter and we're going to name this, make this a number. We're going to pop down here and select what page we want it on. We're gonna want it on the text page. It's I find it's the easiest when you have it there. But we'll do text and make sure you check off integer because we don't want any decimal numbers in this clip. We're just gonna be using whole numbers. Then for the range, we're going to select what number we wanna go up to. So let's just say we're gonna go up to 1 million, so I'll do 0, 2, 1, 0, 0, 0, three more zeros. And I believe that's a million. If it's not, then we'll just adjust it after. So next thing that we're going to want is we're going to want a slider. It's just going to make things super easy to move the numbers back and forth because all this is going to be keyframed and we can actually set a default value, which I'll set as zero. Never used this before. This is gonna be the first time. And let's just make sure there's nothing easier. Yeah, so that's gonna be the easiest thing. Then we're gonna go ahead and click OK. You can scroll down to the end of your text node and you'll see that you have a new number counter. So this is great. We got that pretty much out of the way. Now you wanna figure out how to get the text on the screen because if I come down here and I play with the number counter, nothing pops up on the screen. And we obviously wanted this to populate something on the screen. So what we're gonna do is we're going to jump up here in this text box. And if you've ever worked with expressions before, I'm not gonna go into detail on them. They're very customizable, but we're basically gonna right click on this text box and go down to expression. And now whatever we type down here in between these quotes, like for example, 40, and then if we hit enter, it should pop up on the screen. That's great. Again, that's not exactly what we want here. We want the number down here to pop up on the screen. So if we wanna change this at all, we're gonna go ahead and just delete this text and then we can use what's called the pick whip, which is this little plus guy, and we can attach this to our number counter. And now you'll see that we have 1 million up on the screen, which is awesome. We can actually go back and forth and just zoom it all the way up to 1 million. We can come over here, we can type in any value that we want, if we want 300. So. That's great, that's fine and dandy. If that's all that you were going for, you can go ahead and come to the first frame and do something like this where you animate it and we'll go all the way up to 1 million. Boom, so that's great if that's what you were going for, but I actually want to take this a step further, which is where it's going to get really confusing, but I've made it simple for you guys. You're actually gonna be able to grab the expression from the text down below, which is gonna help you create 
everything. If you want to add in commas in here, you see there's no commas. I can't just throw a comma right here. There's actually an expression that adds in some commas in here. Paste it in and it should be good to go. Other than the fact you need to, when typing in this expression, you're gonna wanna replace the words percentage with whatever you named your control. In this case, I named it number counter, but you're also gonna wanna make it so that way there's no spaces like I have here. It's gonna be in this expression a couple times, so you're gonna need to replace all the times percentage appears, but then you're gonna pop out with this and you're gonna have the dollar sign, the commas, all the way up to $1 million. And that's how you master the Imangadze money counter effect. Also, one little quick note that'll be really helpful for you guys is if you ever want to adjust the controls in here, you can go to right click on the text and hit edit controls, pop in here and find where it says ID and search for whatever you created, in this case, the number counter effect. And then if we wanted to change this from slider to screw control, whatever that is. So now we have this dial in here. We can do it like that as well. So that's good to know. And if you guys got something out of this video, make sure you guys subscribe because I'm gonna be posting a lot more I'm in Godzi and this kind of style tutorials on the channel and you're not gonna wanna miss it. Plus, I'm on the road to 10K subscribers. I need your help getting there. So slap that like, slap that subscribe button and I'll see you next time on DaVinci Resolve.